Hello, my nuggets. It is Tuesday. It is rock. I am here to talk to you to give you my wisdom of the day, as usual. Um, in case you have not noticed a trend, if you've read or seen more than one of my videos, you know that most of my wisdom of the days generally revolve around words, ideas, or principles of what I believe to be words, ideas, and principles that make up what is a fulfilling, happy, and successful life. Other opinions may differ from my own. I do not begrudge you for having a differing opinion. I have but four desires for these videos, the texts, and the pictures that I post. It is to encourage you to live a happier, healthier life. It is to enlighten you, to cause you to think. Not that I'm coming up with anything that you probably don't already know, but I like to think I package it in a very interesting way. To educate you, to tell you things that you might not know, in case the other two don't actually get across to you. And to entertain you, because if for no other reason than to make you laugh and make you smile and just see your world in a slightly different way, I want to be that guide. I try to put it either in text or in the video of every post, but uh, that's the purpose of all of this. Today we're going to go over another word, and that word is success. Now a lot of people feel differently about success. I think success is not in the eye of the beholder. I think success, or what is or can be defined as success, is something that only the person who is doing the succeeding or the failing can say. Um, I'm looking at Merriam-Webster slightly to the right on the screen and it says uh, success is the fact of getting or achieving wealth, respect, or fame. Another definition is the correct or desired result of an attempt. That one is probably the one that I most agree with. Another one says someone or something that is successful, a person or a thing that succeeds, uh, a degree or measure of succeeding, favorable desired outcome, also attainment of wealth, favor, or eminence. Now, I don't know where all that favor, or wealth, or eminence, or respect, or fame, none of that crap matters to me. The only thing that matters to me is two of those six different uh, definitions. One that says a favorable or desirable outcome, and the other one, was a correct or desired result of an attempt. Here's what I believe. Your opinion may differ. You cannot be successful unless you first have a goal. Think it over. The idea with success is, irregardless of how other people see you, because you are born alone, you will live much of your life alone, and you will probably die alone, their opinions do not matter. The only opinion that matters is yours. Whether or not you are successful is not by measure of comparison to someone else, or whether or not your parents feel you're successful, or your friends feel you're successful, or the teacher that was in your English class told you that you would or would not amount to anything. It doesn't matter what they think. It's not their life. It's yours. I feel I'm a successful person, and I'll tell you why. Because the goals that I put forward to myself, even though sometimes it takes me longer to do the things that I set out to do, I succeed. When my daughter Morgan was born, it was my job to get her to adulthood, the age of 18, legal adulthood. I wanted to get her through high school. I wanted to get her into college. I have succeeded. When I was young and I had girlfriends, it was my goal to succeed in getting a good woman, a woman that would support me that would love me, that would be my best friend, I have succeeded in that goal. Most of everything that exists in my life exists in my life because I consciously drew it to me through physical effort and through desire, success. By measure to other people, I might not be that successful. I allow myself to get fat and some people say, well, how did you, why did you let yourself get fat? That's not successful. Yes, it is. You want to know why? Because I was eating and I was successful in putting the food in my mouth. And when I decided I no longer wanted to do that, I lost the weight, and I continue to lose the weight, and I continue to get more fit, healthy, and vigorous, and I'm getting off the pills more and more every time I go to the doctor's office. Success. You 
need to pick goals. You need to commit to those goals. You need to plan out a way to achieve those goals. You need to make sure that nothing gets in your way, not even you. And when those goals are done, pat yourself on the back and say, I am successful. And do not rest on your laurels. Let success be habit forming. Choose a new goal. And if you become consistent with this activity, creating a goal, having a plan, committing to the plan, succeeding the goal, your life will be a more fulfilling life. And you will be a happy little monkey like me. This has been your Guru Sharma Rock Ness Wisdom of the Day for Tuesday, July the 1st. Be successful.